deciding if a 2D shape is regular or irregular. You're with Mr. Rossi, and we will answer this question. How do we know whether a shape is regular or irregular? Things that we need to know for this lesson. If you don't already understand this about angles, you need to watch the video I have made about understanding angles, the basics. So we need to know that an L shape or a quarter turn is 90 degrees or a right angle. We need to know that an acute angle is less than a right angle or 90 degrees, such as these angles up here. And we need to know that an obtuse angle is more than an L shape or 90 degrees, but it's also less than a straight line, which is 180 degrees. Now, all of the shapes here are regular, except for two. Pause the video now. Can you work out why? So let's see if we can figure out why two of the shapes here are not regular, why two of the shapes are irregular. Now, maybe you've worked them out. The ones that are irregular is this one, the rectangle, and this one, the rhombus. Now, why? Every other shape here has all of its sides, such as this triangle, they are equal in length. We can show that by doing this. So they have the same length, every single side. And on the inside, they have the same angle. This is an equilateral triangle, but we could also say it's a regular shape or a regular triangle. The square is also regular because every side is the same in length, but also all the angles on the inside are the same. They're all right angles. They're all L-shaped, even if they're backwards or upside down. The only two shapes here that are irregular is the rectangle and the rhombus. And that's because the rectangle, it has this side and this side the same. And this side and this side are the same. But they're not all the same, are they? Even though the angles on the inside are all right angles. The sides are different lengths, so it's irregular. The rhombus is the other one that's irregular because the angles are different. This angle here is bigger than an L shape, so it's obtuse. But this angle here is smaller than an L shape, it's acute. So the angles on the inside are not all the same. This one is obtuse, this one is acute. And it's irregular because the angles are different to each other, even though the sides are all the same length. Because the angles are different, it's still irregular. So, we can work out this little rule. A regular shape has the same sides, they all have to be equal in length, and they all have to have, it has to have all its angles on the inside the same as well. So the square, the square, let's just label them quickly, square, rectangle, rhombus, parallelogram, kite. The square is the only one which is regular. All its sides are the same, 
and all its angles on the inside are right angles. So it ticks both of these boxes. So it's regular. Now let's see why these other shapes are irregular. We've already seen that the rectangle, its sides are not all the same length, even though it has all its angles the same. So it doesn't tick both the boxes, so it is irregular. How about the rhombus? Well, we've already seen that that is irregular because it's not because the sides are different. It ticks that box. It's because the angles on the inside are different. Now let's have a look at the kite. Well, the kite has different length sides. This side looks like it's the same as this side in length. And this side and this side look like they're the same in length. But they're not all the same. So that means it doesn't tick this, this box with all sides being the same. So it is irregular. As well as that, the angles on the inside, are they the same? No, they're not the same either. This one here is acute. And this one here is slightly bigger than an L shape. So these two here are obtuse. So the angles are not the same on the inside. So that's another reason why this shape is irregular. Now let's have a look at the parallelogram. The parallelogram doesn't have the same sides, doesn't have all its sides the same length. This side looks like it's the same length as this side, and these two look like they're the same size, but they're not all the same size, so that means it must be irregular. But we can check the angles as well anyway. Are the angles the same on the inside? This one here is less than an L shape, it's acute. And this one over here looks like it's about the same. But these two here look like they're bigger than an L shape, this one and this one. They are obtuse, so the angles are different from each other as well. So that's another reason why this shape is irregular. Now, how about our final shape here? Why is it irregular? Well, we can see that the length of the sides is different. So the length of this side is longer than this side here. And this side here is, looks like it's the shortest of all. So the sides aren't the same length, so it must be irregular. And that's without even looking at the angles. But we can, if we want to check the angles, we could also see that this is acute because it's smaller than L shape. This one here is also acute because it's smaller than L shape, but this angle is even smaller than this one. And this angle here goes all the way from here all the way around to here. That's even bigger than a straight line because a straight line would be going down here, wouldn't it? Yeah, to make a straight line with that one. So these angles are different on the inside as well, which is another reason why this shape is irregular.